Well, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Speedway, Indiana, where the Indianapolis 500 is set to take place here in a few days. My name is Mackenzie Salmon here with our motorsports insider, Nathan Brown. What an exciting day it's been so far. I want to know what have been your biggest takeaways from practice day here in Carb Day? Yeah, we uh, saw the final two hours of cars on track for this afternoon's practice. The next time they will be on track is when we'll get rolling for Sunday's race. Scott Dixon paced uh, today's practice. It was good to see a Chip Ganassi racing car up there. They had a struggle in qualifying this year, um, kind of up and down practices too. Scott talked to us in the press conference that we just had, said that they feel like they have good, solid race cars, especially on the nine car. Um, not sure, though, if he can come and win this race from 21st. That will be definitely something to watch come Sunday. Um, the other driver we got to speak to, Scott McLaughlin, uh, your pole sitter, leading a, a front row of three Team Penske drivers for Sunday's race. Um, said he's feeling great, feeling energized, not feeling pressure, despite uh, starting on pole for the first time. The, the best start he's ever had in this race is 14th. So this is going to be a new experience for Scott, really interested to see how Team Penske handles having three cars up there, whether they switch the lead back and forth, kind of try to help their guys on fuel mileage because leading this race, you burn up a lot more fuel and that could hurt you in that final stint. So excited to see how those two guys' races fare out in very different parts of uh, the field and it should be uh, setting up for a really exciting race here come Sunday. I know, I'm not gonna lie Nathan, I'm really excited I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but this is my first Indy 500, so uh, fingers crossed, no rain delays happen, but we've got a really exciting show come Sunday for race day, starting at 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. You want to give the uh, the fans a rundown of our guest list? Absolutely. This is one of my favorite things that we do <laughs> every single May, um, all of our Pit Pass Live episodes leading up to a live broadcast on Sunday morning. We spend two hours from Gasoline Alley, as uh, Mackenzie mentioned, kick off at 8.30. Um, we will intro the show, and then we get a chance to sit with Doug Bowles, the president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, for uh, the first of many 10-minute segments. We'll go from Doug to Santino Ferrucci, Marcus Erickson, your 20, uh, 2022 Indy 500 winner, Connor Daly, and we will close things off in terms of our live segments with Air McLaren, team principal Gavin Ward. And then we'll just spend the rest of the show breaking down uh, the field, rows 1 through 11, talk about some predictions, and maybe do a, one last uh, look at the weather forecast and see what we got in store. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. we got to talk about the elephant in the room. One of the biggest storylines heading into the Indy 500 is will there be a rain delay? Fingers crossed it passes over us, but... We do have um, a few words from the 2008 winner, Scott Dixon, on his experience with weather delays. And also we've got Team Penske, Scott McLaughlin, on the pressure he's facing heading into the Indy 500. So here's what they had to say. You know, you can't look into it too much, right? It's the same for everybody. And it's, you know, you can't do anything about it. Uh, it was weird. I think I remember having a nap in between the start and the finish on one of those. And then obviously it, it, uh, it finished under rain with... Uh, it was 07, I think Dario beating me under caution, so that was that was not fun. So not a good memory. Um, but yeah, it's, it's weatherman. It is what it is. You know, might favour somebody in the end. It might not. Hopefully, it's you. You know, if you can ride that kind of train. But um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Super excited. I mean, when this guy won in 08, you know, it made me love the Indy 500 a lot, and as a Kiwi and a very proud one at that. Um, and I guess it has been a pretty whirlwind week. You know the you know, being fastest here for qualifying. Obviously, it's the, the first box you want to tick, but um, ultimately you want to win on Sunday, but it's still been a really cool week, and I've really enjoyed it. I really try to soak it in as much as I can, but at the end of the day, the job's this weekend. Um, but just really proud to represent Pennzoil, and obviously it's 40 years since Rick won um, in this race car, and, um, you know, it, it would mean a lot to the team and myself to do that, obviously. It would be a life changing experience but ultimately we need to go through all the all the process all the execution to get to that point there's 32 other amazing race car drivers out there that are just going to be chasing us down and, and working us um, very hard and yeah I have no doubt about that so just keep my emotions in check just enjoy the moment and see what happens well as we all know team Penske dominated row one they've got three drivers in front row who do you see Nathan as our biggest competitor 
Well, uh, I would say that's probably Errol McLaren, their Chevy uh, teammates in the uh, engine manufacturer department, but fierce competitors on track. Alexander Rossi starts this race from fourth. He won this race back in his first try, 2016. Um, he's been really frustrated with how much Team Penske has been uh, open about their predictions for dominance, both leading into qualifying as well as this race. I expect him to be calm but fierce once we get into that final 50 lap stint or so. We have Kyle Larson starting on that second row as well. Don't know that he's a race winning contender, but certainly can be a, a teammate that Alex could work with. And not far back is Pato Award in that third row. Um, he's been in it each of these last two years, finished second in 2022. Last year was fighting for a win in the final 10 laps and crashed uh, competing for second with Marcus Erickson. So really excited to see you know, that, that Team Penske trio has been the talk all month, but as Scott Dixon mentioned in our press conference just now, the fastest car doesn't always win this race. So those are three drivers I think you need to watch out for if we don't have a Penske driver chugging the milk here on Sunday afternoon. Uh, well, guys, be sure to follow us come rain or shine race day on Sunday, 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on YouTube, Facebook, and IndyStar.com. See y'all come race day.